Well, I think black history is American history. I mean, I believe that we have to recognize the struggles that it took to get where we are now and all the things that many, many people endured and did, both of all races, to get us to the point where we are. Today is the start to Black History Month. Every year, the Louisville Bar Association recognizes someone who excels in their field and works tirelessly in the community. In today's Moments That Matter, WHAS 11's Charlene Shanklin and photojournalist Emma Gafter introduce you to Stites and Harbertson attorney Demetrius Holloway. Demetrius Holloway knew early in his life that he wanted to be an attorney, going back to his time in high school. During that time, I met Ernie Jasmine, who then was Commonwealth attorney. Uh, he as well as, um, um, as others were there and they spoke. And um, I just thought it was the coolest thing I ever heard, the way he, he commanded the room and moved around and uh, uh, told his story. And Following Jasmine's cases ignited a desire in Holloway to reach for excellence while helping others have their voice be heard, regardless of where they are from. I think there's just the opportunity there now uh, to get those ideas and perspectives and let people see that everybody can bring something to the table and the difference in perspective can help make better decisions um, than just one shotgun approach to everything. Growing up in West Louisville, Holloway learned the basics while attending Central High School. Today, he's a partner at Stites and Harbison in the employment litigation section. The Louisville Bar Association recently announced Holloway will receive the Justice William E. McAnulty Jr. Trailblazer Award. Congratulations, Justice McAnulty. Made me think about all those people who had received the reward before me and the impact they had and hoping that I too can continue to make some form of impact um, in this community in that area. I'm very proud to have received the appointment and I have no regrets. Judge McAnulty was an attorney and judge who later became the first African American justice on the Kentucky Supreme Court before his death in 2007. Holloway understands the importance of this award and the legacy it brings. I think I got a lot to live up to. <laughs> he, was, he was a great person. I actually did get to meet him and spend time with him at different times. And um, I see him and some of the others, the, like I said, Ernie Jasmine, J. Michael Brown, uh, Denise Clayton, all these various folks who put a lot into this community. and put a lot into us as we came into the practice. I mean, those were great, uh, great role models and, and, and it provided us with um, a good sense of what we should be working towards and how we should be carrying ourselves in the practice. One of Holloway's biggest inspirations is family. His wife and his mother, he attributes his work ethic to her, watching her work more than one job and sacrificing for her only child. He says his mother wanted to give him the best opportunity to achieve his goals, and that's why he takes the time to give back. I've always felt some pressure because, uh, um, and I think a lot of people in, our, in my circumstance do, do because we want to make sure we're not the last. We did, We weren't the first, but we don't want to be the last. We don't want to be the only. And so we want to see more people coming in and, 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 and taking this opportunity and getting this opportunity and showing that they can flourish and do even greater things. For Moments That Matter, with photojournalist Emma Gafter, I'm Shirlene Shanklin for WHAS 11 News on your side. Holloway will re officially receive the Trailblazer Award presented by the Louisville Bar Association coming up later this month.